Well, I'm very pleased to say I'm joined by Chris Waters, who is Kennel Hand and uh, owner of many, many dogs in the John Mullins Kennel. Uh, good to speak to you, Chris. How's things? How's lockdown been for you? I'm guessing you're missing your racing because you're, uh, you're one of those owners and he's always there to see his dogs run. Um, yeah, I've been pretty lucky, really, because uh, as I've got a Kennel Hand licence, I've been going around with John and, and uh, taking dogs myself. So um, I've been quite lucky to see quite a few of them run still. So all was good. So it's not put you off buying dogs either, uh, the whole lockdown situation, because uh, you, you own plenty, don't you? Including the ones we're going to talk about today for the Star Sports Derby. Yeah, yeah. I've got enough, yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, the one we're going to talk about first is actually the one that you don't have a share in, but from the kennel, Small Mead is an absolutely cracking bitch. And, you know, in terms of the derby, Chris, they say that bitches can't win derbies, but we saw Ballymac Tass come second last year. She was a great bitch. How good is Small Mead, do you think? I think she's that good. Yes, I do. Um, she didn't enjoy Mom more, that's for sure, but everywhere else she's been exceptional. Um, yeah, great bitch. Full sister to Bally Mac in speed. Um, owned by Lee Calcutt and his dad, and they're very lucky to have her. Her strike rate is phenomenal. I think she's won seven out of 13. In terms of racing, she's absolutely lit up Romford. She seems to love it there. But Mon Moore, as you say, she, she maybe didn't take to it quite as much, but she was running over 6.30 there. What's her ideal trip? I would say, personally, around the 5.50. I think Hove, something like that, is um, pretty good for her trip. 5.15 to 600, really. Um, she did a 29.54 round Hove. Um, Central Park, she's done a 28.76 or 80, so um, that's Mr Mullins ringing me. Can you believe that? <laughs> Tell him to leave us alone. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so, so um, she's just an exceptional bitch, yeah. What's her ideal box? Oh, rails. As close rails. as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you think Lossman yeah. will suit her? Um, I would say it'd be ideal for her, really. I mean, you know, um, the distance and tough 500, I think, would be absolutely ideal for her. Yeah. She's 33 to 1 at the moment with Star Sports, so she's pretty high up in the betting. What do you make for chances for the Derby and, and obviously taking on the dogs? I've always said, as soon as, as since we've had her, I, I took her for her first trial, her first look round Yarmouth. She did a 27.60 first look. Uh, and I thought, wow, she's she's special. Um, so I don't see why she why she can't go a long, long way in it. I really don't. And as for being the best bitch in the competition, I think she's got every chance of that as well. So, yeah, so that's she's good. When she's good. Um, what's she like in her character? Beautiful, beautiful she's bitch. Tough. Everything about her. She travels well. She's got a great nature. She's got a good attitude. She's just she's got she's got everything. She's she's just a beautiful bitch. She really is. And on the track, is she tough? Like when she comes up against the bigger dogs? Yeah, I thought so. Um, I can't see any reason why not. No, no. It she's, like she ticks all the boxes. She does. Yeah, I, I, I'm 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 rooting for her, and uh, hope she goes a long way in it for Lee and his dad. They deserve it. Okay, well, possibly your best chance of the Derby winner as an owner is uh, Swift Lettuce, who uh, is an April 18, one of those dogs that the Derby is kind of playing into uh, his hands, really, because it, it would have come too soon before. He would have been too young, wouldn't he? But uh, how is he now, Swift Lettuce? Uh, improving all the time. Yeah, I seriously think he's still improving. Um, he's had a slight niggle. He's been off a little while. Came back for the uh, Yarmouth Derby won his heat the other day, and he's um, going from strength to strength, yeah. He started life in A3 grade at Yarmouth, and this is a dog that you bought from, from very young, isn't it? He's progressed brilliantly. You must be thrilled with the way he's gone. Yeah, I am thrilled, yeah, and it makes it better because we, um, I got him from Greavesy, and um, I put him up for auction for the grand charity day that I do with the golf course, and uh, I auctioned half of him. And uh, the right boy came in and, and, and bought half of him and they get half the prize money, etc. And um, yeah, you couldn't have wished for a better dog, really. It's a really nice story, that. Uh, he's very effective at all different tracks. It doesn't really matter where you take him. Yarmouth, Romford, Monmore. He's also raced at Nottingham. Did Nottingham suit him? 
Yeah, we we got we took him to Nottingham. We, we, his first look round was four eighty, and he did a twenty eight fifty five. Um, 40 fast so he broke he got under 29 first look so obviously he hasn't got a problem there um, he's just been laid off and in between other competitions but yeah I, I think he'll suit suit Nottingham well he's just starting to stay better as well so yeah I, I, I really like the dog so very hopeful with him and when you look at his form he is a dog that is nearly always in the frame isn't he yeah 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 he, he's got talent He's strong, he's, he's, he's uh, pacey enough up, but um, he's staying better now and he's just, he's just turning into a really good dog. Yeah, he could really be one of the bigger prizes that goes deep into the competition, definitely keep qualifying and uh, if he's improving as well, could be a force to be reckoned with. Nice sort of age, April 2018, I, I do think he has a lot of potential. You've got a pair of brothers as well, um, Not Out The Way and Detroit. These are youngsters, they've just turned two, September 18. Uh, not out of the way in particular. What a strike rate. It's won five out of seven for you. Great little dog. They're, I bought them at eight weeks old from uh, Brian Lonergill, Lon whatever his name is in Ireland. I can't never pronounce his name right, but um, I bought them at eight weeks, brought them over, and uh, John reared them. Calls him, he calls them their, his boys. Um, fantastic attitude. They're, they're absolute race dogs. They're determined, gutsy. Um, give it all they've got every time they run and they're both lightly raced because of lockdown etc um, so yeah they're, they're improving still and uh, they're not out of the way dogs starting to stay now so so that's encouraging and Detroit Detroit, Detroit will stay no problem he's, he's only had one race in eight nine weeks and that was the first round of the uh, Yarmouth Derby so um, he's, he's going to improve a lot yeah and you think there's a lot more to come from him don't you John does. <laughs> and that's John based does. on the first round run at Yarmouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the John thinks there's a lot more to come from both of them, so he really likes them. So um, I'll go along with that. Yep, yep. Uh, another good. one that uh, we're going to put in the derby, hopefully, is Romeo Rumble, who is uh, the oldest of, of the team, June 2017. He hasn't raced since February. What's been happening with him? He's been over in Ireland with Graham Holland. Um, John's just taken back from Dave Firmager, obviously for the Derby Tilt. So um, he's always raced in good company. Grand Dog um, won the British Stakes final for John last year, which was a, a good scout because he had uh, some good dogs in that final. I think uh, Turbo and Sheeran were in that final. So obviously the dog's got plenty of talent. Um, strong running dog. Got to go for it again, haven't they? He has race in top class company. I think the Eclipse semi final last year would have been well worthy of a, a Derby final won by Ice on Fire, of course. Uh, another sort of st strong staying type, Nottingham would play into his hands. Yeah, definitely, definitely. He, he, he ran that strong, he ran it last year strong. He, 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 he's, a, he's a dog that you, you always can go to war with. Yeah. So it's a well-rounded team. We've got a well-established great dog in Romeo Rumble, a couple of uh, real improvers. Uh, Swift Lettuce, who is established already as a great dog, but again, improving. And Small Mead that, you know, has proven what she can do. And, and you speak very, very highly of her. Which is the best chance of a Derby winner, do you think? Sorry, Lee, but I think Lettuce is the best chance. <laughs> you think Swift Lettuce? Yeah, I do, yeah. 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 He's, 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 I've got to, he's my dog and I just think he's just improving and improving, I really do and looking at him every, every time he goes racing he just looks better every time so yeah I'll stick with Lettuce uh, For you personally Chris in the derby, uh, many of us will remember Swift Keith, what an absolutely beautiful dog he was, a, a joy to own he made it to the third round of the Greyhound derby which potentially given his ability was a, a bit disappointing for you and that's actually the furthest you've been isn't it? Yeah, it is for all the money I've spent. Yeah, we can't quite get there much further, but one one day we will. We're sure we will. Um, yeah, he was a great dog to to have. We've still got him at the kennels. Um, character just just gave us so much fun, and he he won two times on Derby final night. Um, won all over the place. So I, you know, he was a dream dog. He really was. Still is. And is the Star Sports Derby the dream? Like it is for many people, you know, to go further, to maybe make that final. Absolutely, yeah, that's what we do it for. Anyone else that says they don't, well, I think they might be a liar, but yeah, that's what we do it for, try and win the derby, whether it's 
whatever the prize money is, wherever it is, then that's where we go. And um, I'm grateful that Nottingham are, are putting it on again for us um, because without them, we don't think we'd have it this year. So um, thank them very much. And it's an exciting time, isn't it? Especially when you're in the situation you are, where you've got dogs you're, you're genuinely excited about for the derby. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We work hard, pay too much money for our dogs, spend too much money, get in trouble with the missies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But um, if you get a derby run or a, or a category one winner, then it's all, all worth it. That's for sure. Absolutely, and they're in brilliant hands. Of course, all these dogs trained by John Mullins, so uh, that's quite a, uh, a team. Uh, listen, good luck, Chris. I wish you all the best. And, uh, I will see you at Nottingham. Let's hope so. Cheers, Julie.